Hello there! Welcome to the Unnamed Movie Review Channel. I'm your host, Owen Williams, and today I'm going to be talking about Avengers Endgame. Some of you might not have heard about this movie, it was this really small indie movie that came out. I'm not sure if it's released in all cinemas. It's the final movie in this series about these superhero characters, and they've kind of been scraping along. They haven't found that much success over the years, so this will probably be the last one as before they fade off into dust, and they're never really heard of again. For those of you who can't take a joke, I am kidding. Avengers Endgame is my favourite movie of all time. So, hi there if you're new, my name is Owen Williams, I already introduced myself, and I wear this mask which always gets in my mouth. So that's fun. So I'm going to start by giving you a week. Actually no, first I need to do a spoiler warning. I will not be spoiling the actual events of the movie, and more hand my mouth, okay. I will not be spoiling the actual events of the movie, but in this video, however, I will be saying some... It'll be a spoiler-free review, but there might be some things that some might interpret as spoilers. So if you want to go in this movie fresh, which I definitely recommend, I would go do it now. So my plan is tomorrow I'm going to upload a ranking of every MCU movie. Then after that, one day I'm going to upload a ranking of... Sorry. A ranking... I mean a spoiler review, which is I will go through everything in that happened in that movie. And then after that, I will probably be doing... A villain ranking and a hero ranking, and that should be it. Because Avengers Endgame is a huge movie, the biggest blockbuster uh, in years, probably since Star Wars. And it might even be bigger than that, because I'm pretty sure it's already passed all the Star Wars movies for its grossing limits. Or grossing money stuff. Anyway, let's hop right into it. So, the things that I will be slightly spoiling will be... I will not spoil what these are, but the Stanley cameo, I'll be talking about it. I will not tell you what it is, obviously, and the end credit scene, again, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will be talking about it slightly, so some people may think that, oh, he might spoil it, so then you can go if you want to do that. Anyway, okay, so I'm back now, and I made a mistake with what I was doing, but everything should be fine now. Anyway, let's hop right into the bad of this movie. I'm not going to be giving you elevator pitch, because everyone's already going to know the elevator pitch of this movie, but the bad of this movie was kind of... They took one character who I expected, who a lot of people expected to be doing something very different and changed them a lot. And then they used this character as kind of a way of lo to break tension and use laughs, which kind of felt odd in this movie, especially with the way this character is arcing from them beforehand. And then they're suddenly just sidelined almost for this movie. They have some great moments, but of course they aren't really that useful for most of the movie. And that's really the only bad part. The medium parts come with the Stanley cameo in the end credit scene. The Stanley cameo, we all know it's his final cameo, and it kind of just feels like it's brushed by really, really quickly. It's a great cameo, I think it's one of his best, just because of the fact that he's gone now, but... and may he rest in peace, but it just kind of felt almost ignored throughout the course of the movie. I was hoping for something bigger to be his cameo. And... The other bad part was the end credit scene, which just felt lacklustre, and that's how I'm going to leave it. Anyway, um, let's move on to the good, and the good was everything else about this movie. The music choices were amazing, the character arcs were incredible. This is the first ever movie to make me cry, and I was sobbing in the middle of the movie theatre. Luckily, I don't think anyone noticed, but I was in tears throughout the final part of this movie. I'm not going to spoil why, of course, but it's not for the reasons you think it is. Or maybe it is for the reasons you think it is. Or maybe I'm just saying that to make it think it's for the reasons that you think it is. I'm going to stop now. Anyway, and the, there were great character arcs, there were great moments for every single character. Every character had some standout lines. Characters who have been sidelined off through the rest of the MCU had these moments to jump out and really shine for everything else. And I could go on for hours about it, but I don't want to. There were just so many great sequences in this movie, I absolutely adored it. So that's why I'm going to leave it. For people who enjoy this movie, absolutely everyone, and comparing this against the last movie we saw on the channel, which I think was Triple Frontier? Triple Frontier doesn't even hold a candle to this thing. This movie was so much better than that. So anyway, I think that's why I'm going to leave it. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed this video, and if you did leave in the comments down below what your thoughts on Endgame were, I'll be giving out my ranking tomorrow. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you on the next one, and Owen out. Goodbye.